Starship soared to the sky. After seven months of upgrading, the second orbital test flight was a major success. This flight was full of new developments and achievements that we will explore in today's episode. Unlike the previous flight, this one had many modifications to ensure a smooth and safe launch. These modifications paid off, as this flight surpassed the April flight in many aspects. One of the key factors that enabled these new milestones for Starship was the inclusion of the upgraded Stage Zero, especially the Water Deluge system. Launchpad is in great shape, Musk tweeted on X after this flight. The effectiveness of this new system was the first victory that SpaceX claimed in the flight. How did the upgrade at Stage Zero impact the recent test flight? How did it astonish the aerospace industry? Join us today on Great SpaceX to find out. The Starship launch was a thrilling event that electrified Starbase and beyond. The excitement was palpable even before the flight, as people eagerly anticipated the historic moment. Why? even Elon Musk's own mother, May Musk, captured the mood perfectly in a tweet, watching the Starship launch is like a rock concert. Few flights can inspire such intense emotions and awe. At 7.03 a.m. in Texas, the moment everyone had been waiting for started. Starship activated its engines and lifted off from the launch mount to fly into the sky. Next, we bore witness to another beautiful scene from the separation process. Thanks to the hot staging mechanism, the two stages were smoothly separated from each other. Sadly, the booster then exploded. A few minutes later, the Starship also lost signal and probably exploded like its companion. The flight lasted more than 8 minutes with a peak altitude of 148 kilometers. Although the flight did not achieve all of its goals, we must once again congratulate SpaceX for its efforts. We don't need to argue or analyze too much, just looking at the numbers like the times of flight or peak altitude mentioned here, we can confirm that this flight is much better than the first. Contributing to those achievements, we cannot ignore the contributions of the Stage Zero system with the inclusion of the Water Deluge system, which helped the recent flight have an extremely wonderful start. This is one of the most important and prominent changes that SpaceX has made in many months. According to many images posted after the flight, it seemed that the orbital launch mount had no problems. The surrounding infrastructures are also safe. Livestream units near the starbase also confirmed that camera locations were fine and no rocks or debris appeared. Next, nearly two hours after the flight, the FAA FAA also posted a notice confirming that no injuries or public property damage had been reported. These examples are extremely convincing evidence to prove the effectiveness of Stage Zero as well as the Water Deluge system. Its debut was truly amazing and impressive, creating a significant improvement for the second flight compared to the first. It can be said then that the launch system has received a lot of attention and expectation from SpaceX as well as government bodies. The Stage Zero upgrade is one of the most important requirements that the FAA asked SpaceX to complete after the April flight. Even before the recent flight, another agency, the FWS, or Fish and Wildlife Services, also paid attention to the water deluge system as this system was among the main categories they conducted surveys and assessments on. Those concerns are extremely understandable, especially when we look at the damage that occurred during the first orbital test flight. Seven months ago, on April 20th, the time Starship's first orbital test flight took place, after the engines on B-7 were activated, it created a huge source of energy that blew straight down into the concrete structure below the launch mount. Following the sparks, a thick layer of smoke and dust rose around the launch area. After that smoke and dust settled, we saw an unbelievable scene. A deep hole or crater had appeared right below the launch mount. Along with that, concrete debris spread everywhere, causing causing a lot of damage to the surrounding infrastructure. One of the notable pieces of evidence of the first flight's influence is the dent in a fuel tank at the tank farm. The rocket launch caused devastating destruction, but it was not entirely unexpected. The rocket's Raptor 2 engines were incredibly powerful, each generating up to 230 tons of thrust. The concrete blocks on the launch pad were no match for the combined force of more than 33 of these engines, which amounted to over 7 million tons of thrust. After the first orbital flight test, SpaceX implemented over a thousand modifications to address the issues that arose during that mission. It was then that the public got to see the water deluge system for the first time. 
This system consists of seven water-cooled steel plates with tiny holes on their upper surface. They are installed beneath the launch mount right where a large hole had formed previously. The steel plates are connected to water tanks by a network of pipes. When the vehicle is ready to launch, water flows from the tanks to the plates and sprays upward through the holes, creating a cooling mist. This helps to dissipate the immense heat and pressure produced by the 33 Raptor engines while the vehicle is still on the launch pad. The use of steel plates instead of concrete also enhances the protection of the launch system, as steel is more durable and resistant than concrete. It can even withstand the enormous thrust of the Raptor engines, thus preventing damage to the launch mount and nearby systems. After being successfully installed, the system was tested several times and showed its effectiveness. However, demonstrating that ability in official flight is truly the most convincing evidence. And indeed, it did not disappoint. Water sprayed vigorously before and and when the engine activated. We saw that the blown smoke layer seemed to have become less opaque compared to the previous flight, which showed that the steel plate was working very well. We don't need to wait for official confirmations. The applause and cheers when this system worked were probably a sign that this system had successfully completed its mission. And don't forget that these upgrades were only created within a span of a few months. But those few months were enough for SpaceX to solve the problem of of the previous flight, and now their attempts have surprised us with these newfound capabilities. While the Deluge system works well, we see a small problem, which is above the launch tower. Specifically, one photo captured the image of the ship quick disconnect being slightly dislocated. The specific cause of this incident is still unknown, but this problem probably came from strong vibrations caused by the rocket during liftoff. However, it didn't affect the flight at all, so perhaps it just needs a few small changes to avoid this problem in the future. Again, one of the key factors that made this launch successful was the performance of Stage Zero, which, again, underwent significant upgrades. The flight achieved remarkable results, such as longer and more stable flight time than the previous S-24 and B-7 mission. These achievements were also supported by the engine and the hot staging mechanism, but none of them would have been possible without the excellent start provided by Stage Zero. The explosion of the booster and the loss of connection with Starship are the main challenges that SpaceX faces after the second orbital test flight. These are not easy problems to solve, and they will require a lot of time and effort from Musk and his team. However, they can also rely on the solid performance of their Stage Zero system, which includes the impressive water deluge system that they have been developing for months. This system can help them save time and resources for the next test flights, and their ultimate goal is to achieve a successful orbital launch and landing. We should continue to support SpaceX in their ambitious endeavors. As Jim Free, the Associate Administrator for the Exploration Systems Development, said after the flight, each test represents a step closer. Looking forward to seeing what can be learned from this test that moves us closer to the next milestone. We hope that SpaceX will overcome these difficulties and make their next flights a complete success. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. So thank you so much for tuning in, and if you'd like to support our channel even further, you can go on ahead and hop on over to our Patreon through that link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today and you'll gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.